Hello everyone, um, this is gonna be kind of a short, like, little tutorial on how to make and, like, felt and, you know, do all that stuff to one of these cat masks. So, um, I hope you enjoy that. I am going to be personally making it into a raccoon and I've got my foam base right here. And, um, yeah, so let's start, like, I'll walk you guys through this, if you've never done this. Um, it's not that hard, but there are a few things you need to know. So, I've got my base, um, ignore my hand that I drew on. Um, I've got my base, like, here, and I'm gonna add this onto there. And I'm gonna, like, hot glue it on there, I've got my hot glue gun. Um, make sure you put this on something so that it doesn't drip onto, like, a table or floor or etc. Okay, so now I'm going to be gluing or hot gluing the mask onto here. Um, and it's going to look kind of like that. I can't really get a good, like, image. But just be careful if you're using hot glue on your mask. Um, so I'm going to do that and then... I'm gonna show how to felt it. So yeah. Okay, so I got this now, like, or whatever it is, hot glued on there. Um, it's very messy looking. And again, like, I just wanna say, please be careful with the hot glue because it could really hurt if you touch it. And sometimes, like, it's dangerous when you are messing around and stuff like that. Um. And I suggest putting on, like, gloves or something. So, yeah. But now, I'm going to felt it. And I'm going to show some tips on that. Okay. So, get yourself, like, a nice big piece of felt. Um, I suggest making sure that it's not on the cottony side. Which is, like, a little more fluffier. Um... I'm trying to tell which side it is. I can't really tell. But, I mean, it's okay. It's not the end of the world if you get it on that side. But, like, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, so what I just suggest doing is smoothing it out. Um, and then basically just kind of cut out a little bit. And, you know, hot glue it on there. Just do that first. Um... And then once you've done that, I'm going to show some little tips on, like, the eyes and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so I've got it, like, pretty much felted. It's a little wrinkled, um, but not, like, a ton. It's pretty good. Um, I may not have done it the best, and it looks a little weird right now. But I am going to fix that once we, like, paint it and do everything like that. So it'll look better then. Um, so now what you're going to do is just kind of cut, like, around here. And then, um, like, cut some little snips in there. Um, not, like, exactly down to there. Um, Phoenix Fox has actually a really good tutorial on how to, like, do most of the felt stuff. So, I think if you watch their tutorial, um, it might be more helpful. So, yeah, so you're just going to kind of cut and then, like, hot glue that in there. And then I'll show you how to do the eyes. All right, so um, I got this kind of, like, felted on there. And then I'm just going to fold all of this down and hot glue that. But um, I did mess up a little on the ears. It's not, like, extremely noticeable. But I just want to say, like, everybody makes mistakes, so don't worry if you accidentally messed up on something because a lot of people do that and that's okay um and i'm still gonna make the tutorial and hopefully it'll turn out okay so yeah i'm just gonna fold all this down and hot glue that on so i've finished um putting on all the felt it's definitely not the greatest but i just like tucked everything under there um, so yeah. Now, what you're gonna do for the eyes 
is like cut out some little slits. I'm gonna turn it around. Um, but Phoenix Fox also said in their video about how to do this, like that they did that. But what you're gonna do is just like cut like pretty big slits in them. Um, don't go all the way to the edges, but just do that. And then you're gonna wanna hot glue that in there. So um, as you can probably tell, this isn't like the best tutorial, but we've gotten mostly everything like felted on there. Um, and I got the eyes done. So it's not like the worst. Um, but yeah, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to painting it and I'm gonna put the mesh in the eyes but I will show you guys after I'm finished and hopefully this helped you like a little bit with your mask making um hopefully this was good you when the mask is done so I've finished the mask and here is the finished product I might edit the eyes a little bit just because um they were supposed to be stars and you can't really see it but i think it turned out pretty well for how i had started so um i hope this was pretty like helpful and just you know like i hope that these tips were okay and i didn't take too long to explain everything i'm not very good at talking to like just a camera in general or even people in real life so um I think, you know, I think I did pretty good. I don't know. You guys can tell me. But hopefully this helped you. And hopefully you can make a cool mask. Um, so thank you for watching this. And bye.